Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Welcome, and in today's video, I want to show you how to make this cute little Frankenstein card. Uh, today, if you're on my blog, you'll know that it is Frankenstein Day, or uh, the uh, birthday, the anniversary of the birthday of the author of Frankenstein, Mary Shelley. So in uh, her honor, in his honor, I decided to make a little Halloween card with his cute little image. So we're going to use this Stampin' Up! Big Shot and the Top Note die. And I need a, a piece of basic black and old olive cut at five and a half by four and a quarter. And with these big dies, you can cut more than one piece of cardstock at a time. So I'm just layering two there and I'm going to cut it out. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way and let's get our pieces here. I think this was my very first die that I bought when uh, for the big shot from Stampin' Up. Just love it. It's a cute shape. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I am going to cut the hair for Frankenstein and I am going to just take a pencil and draw some little zigzag lines up here at the top. Now I will give you a tip here, uh, when you're doing this, don't go up too close to the top, okay? You don't want too much of a narrow piece there. And then I'm just going to take my paper snips and cut this out. Okay, so I have his hair cut out and I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to the top of the old olive piece. And now we're going to work on his eyes. Okay, I'm going to take um, a one inch circle punch and punch two white circles. And two old olive circles, also in one inch. And then I'm going to need a three quarter inch in basic black, two of those. So I'm using my scraps here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is layer up these little eye pieces by putting the black on the white. I like to do this because I have a habit of uh, misplacing little pieces that I've punched out. So get those babies together. Okay, and then I'm going to take my white gel pen and Second thought, I'm going to wait till I get those on his face before I put his little accent marks. The next, I'm going to take the uh, one inch old olive circles and cut each of those in half. And I'm going to use three of those. Okay. And what I want to do is sponge around those pieces before we start putting it all together. And I'm going to do that to this old olive piece and then also around the Frankie head there. Okay, so now we have those pieces all sponged up and we're going to start putting them together. So I'm gonna take the eyeballs here and go ahead and adhere them to his little face. This is a cute Frankie, not a scary Frankie. Okay, then I'm going to take two of these and use a Stampin' Dimensional, and these are going to be his eyelids, and I want those to pop up a little bit. So let me take them and just position them like so. And then the other piece is going to be his nose. So I'm going to pop that up too. i just put that right like that. And then I'm going to take a pencil and I want a little wavy cute mouth. So I'm just going to kind of trace that in. And, and then take a trace black. over his mouth. Okay. 
And I already have my card base ready. And what I did is I just cut a standard size, five and a half by eight and a half, and folded it in half at four and a quarter. And then I used a piece of this print from the Witch's Brew Designer Series paper, cut that at four by five and a quarter, and mounted that on. And then I'm going to put my Frankie a little toward the top, and I've stamped and punched already the Trick or Treat, and this is from the Best of Halloween stamp set in celebration of Stampin' Up's 25th year. Uh, some really cute images in that set. These right here, just love it. And I punched it with a modern label punch and used some vintage trinket brads and uh, sponged around it with old olive. And I'm going to pop that up with dimensionals and I'm going to put that on first so I'll know how high to put my Frankie when I adhere him. So I'm just going to center that up. And apply that just as far down as I can and then I'm going to bring the Frankie in and take some of my Tombow liquid glue and apply it and then we'll have a really cute little Halloween card with our little cute Frankenstein. Okay, so there you have it. If you have any questions, email me at lisa at inkandinspirations.com. See how they look different? I love that. I'll, I'll have their own personalities. So I will catch you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>